We got started in bees in uh, 2008 where Danny Lefer um, did some trials for Waipi Alkaline Soils Group. Um, we did 28 hectares and we did a, had bees on probably a third of that paddock and there was quite a significant yield increase, um, probably up to a tonne. Since then we uh, grew them in 2009 and 10 and last year, 2011, and definitely the yields have been um, very consistent. Um, we've been consistently growing around that 3.9, 4 tonne a hectare. Over the last five years, our uh, approach to chemicals, insecticides have changed. Um, we're try, trying to take a lot more of an IPM approach. Um, whereas before that, we were probably uh, a lot of uh, pre emergence and uh, a lot of applications of chemical were just chucking in a SP just for preventative and the cheapness of it all. Um, but, realising uh, now how much damage that was doing to a lot of beneficial insects on our farm. So now we uh, pay a lot more attention to monitoring. With the, the bees being introduced to the, the beans, um, we make sure that we try to have everything under control before the, the bees go in. Um, and we talk closely to our beekeeper. If there does pop up a um, something's happening that we need to apply a, an insecticide or something goes wrong we can um, they can be removed and uh, we can easily go and um, go and put that chemical out and uh, reintroduce them afterwards. To help out our um, bean phase we've sort of been picking varieties that are a lot more tolerant to ascochyra chocolate spot have a lot better disease ratings and uh, this allows us to uh, go through the season without having to travel over them with a boon spray or treat them. Bees, we can't contain them in the, exactly the one paddock, so we have to be uh, um, quite wary of what's growing around us um, and also in our own rotation. Um, it's quite easy to control our own rotation, but our neighbours, uh, we don't get much of a choice what our neighbours grow. So, but often if there's canola growing right alongside, they, uh, the bees are uh, quite favourable to fly over the fence. So that's just something we have to be um, quite wary of. One way of helping the situation is uh, applying the insecticide early in the morning when the bees aren't active. Um, generally it needs to be, usually you see bees starting to get active 14, 15 degrees. They start flying around the place. So if we know that um, there is a job to do, if we can do that early in the morning around that paddock, um, we should have a, a lot safer outcome. Over the last five years we've certainly been applying OIPM to the, our whole farm. We're taking a farm approach, um, not only the beans but all our other crops. And um, probably an important part of um, that approach is identifying the insects, um, knowing the good ones from the bad ones. It's trying to create thresholds that we're comfortable with. Um, it's, uh, sometimes it's not the easiest thing it's uh, quite easy to go and uh, spray an application of SP or something and wipe them out and sleep easy, but by doing that we're certainly having a pretty negative effect on all our beneficials and I think if we keep going and knocking our beneficials out, as the years go on we're just going to find ourselves in a lot worse position. We've seen all the uh, resistance and a lot of other chemicals and we certainly don't want to go down that line um, with insecticides.